Hello friends, how are you all? In today's video, we will learn how to fix black screen and PS4 game on Blu-ray exploit jailbreak. This video is for those who have old version jailbreak disc. So let's start with the first step is to run the jailbreak disc. Wait for a while until the gold hen is loaded. Once it's loaded, then press the PS button and press the options button to close the jailbreak disc and press on. Okay. Now I am facing black screen issues in two games. One is NFS Heat, other is Horizon Forbidden West. So let's try to start the NFS Heat. It has black screen issue, the game is not working. Close this game and let's try the another one. It has also same issue. The game is not working. Press the PS button to exit from game and close it. Now I have two games which has black screen issue. One is NFS Heat and second is Horizon Forbidden West. Let's try to fix this black screen issue. First of all, open settings go to network and set up internet connection. Select your network. Internet connection is set up and forward to next step. Open Golden Menu and go to Server Settings. Click on Enable Bin Loader Server. Bin Loader Server is active now. Copy your IP address number and port number from here. And forward to next step is PC. Open Netcat GUI and all files download. Link is in the description. And drag the IOFIX file in Netcat GUI. Enter the IP address number and port number of your PS4 bin loader server, which was shown on the screen when you're activating the bin loader. Now just press the inject payload button. Payload file is sent to your PS4 successfully. Just wait for a while until the AO is running on. AIO file is successfully installed in your PS4 now. Let us now see if the black screen issue is fixed or not. Now the black screen issue is fixed. Let's try the another one. Game is working fine and our black screen issue is fixed.
In the PC method, you'll need to send the file from your PC to your PlayStation 4 every time you start your PlayStation 4. Now let's try the another method using USB flash drive. You have to copy all the files in your USB flash drive. Download link is in the description. Connect your USB flash drive into PC. Right click on it and scroll down and click to properties to know the format of the flash drive. It's formatted in FAT32 and we need to format in XFAT. Right click on it and scroll down and click on format and choose XFAT and click on start and click on OK. Your USB flash drive is formatted successfully. Select all the files and drag into the USB. Copy the payload elf file into your flash drive. Select the file, right click on the file and click on the rename. But this time you need to rename the payload file name extension elf into bin. Click on yes. Now your USB flash drive is ready. Now let's connect your USB flash drive in your PS4. Run the Blu-ray jailbreak disk. Press Options button to close the disk and click on OK. Now open the PS4 Explorer. Click X on root access. Scroll down and find MNT is written in green color and click X on it and scroll down and click on USB 0. Now select the AIO fix file and press triangle and cut or copy this file from USB. Press circle twice to go back. Scroll up and go to data folder. Click X open it. Create a folder called payloads by pressing triangle if you don't have a payloads folder here. Click X to open the payloads folder and press triangle to paste your bin file here. Now press PS button to exit from the explorer. Then press options button to close the application. Open the golden menu. Scroll down and click X on server settings and click X on enable bin loader server to activate. Now the server is active and running. Now go back and open the payload guest application. The bin file I pasted in payloads folder is showing here. Just simply press the X button to load this file. file started for loading. File loaded is successful. Press the PS button to exit from the application, and then press Options button to close the application. Now let's try to play the game which has black screen issues. Our black screen issue is fixed successfully.
Now let's try to play the another game which has same issue. Issues fixed successfully, friends. Now you can enjoy all the games without facing any issues. The best way to use this AIO file is from a USB flash drive, because it does not require a computer. And once the AIO fix file is copied to your PlayStation 4, you first have to run the jailbreak disk, and after the jailbreak is activated, you have to upload the AIO file from the payload guest application. This method is for those people who have old version jailbreak disk. You always have to keep the internet connection and bin loader active in PlayStation 4. After that, you will be able to upload the file from the payload guest, and if the internet connection is always active, then the firmware of your PlayStation 4 will not be updated. So don't worry about the firmware updates, it's totally safe. If you like the information, then like and share the video, and if you are not on the channel, then subscribe to the channel, because it is totally free.